everyone, Rui Beato here. Um, I've got my new perfume on, which by the way, I did realise that I didn't say the name of it. It's Brit Britney Spears Midnight, um, Fin Midnight Fantasy, I think. I just call it Britney Spears Midnight. But it is my favourite perfume, honest to God. It smells so nice, and now I smell so pretty. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. Um, this video is going to be how to handle a breakup because I know it is kind of like a lot of people's questions like how do I handle this heartbreak and I'm not taking the mick out of them there I'm just you know being myself um basically what I tend to do is I try I tend to grieve like as fast as I possibly can um and I don't mean by getting under someone else <laughs> I mean by, you know, like putting sad songs on, putting love songs on, letting myself cry it out, and then I'm like, boom, gone. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. Like, if I don't do that though, then I'll be miserable for a long time. But if I let myself grieve instantly and just start playing loads of, you know, sad, sad songs, and watching sad sad films and just make myself cry then it goes away a lot quicker also you've got to get rid of the idea of getting back with them if you have even remotely belief or want to get back with them you are going to suffer for a long time okay so you have to completely convince yourself that they are not for you and that it didn't work and that you're just not meant to be together okay if you even have a speck of want you are going to suffer and you are going to suffer hard for a while <laughs> and you're not gonna let it go okay now I do know people that really do find it hard to let go, like way worse than me. Even if they haven't even, this is what confuses me. There's people out there that, you know, even when the person has said to them, I would never be interested and I don't want to go out with you. Some people really do find that hard to like take it in. <laughs> like, <laughs> You've just got to really, to let it go, you've got to truly know that it's not going to happen. And if it did, it would be pure chaos. And it would be worse to be with them than it would without. Okay? <laughs> Do a little, little mind programming. Because if someone is not for you, you need to stop it. Okay, <laughs> you really need to stop it. You need to let them go and you need to just go, no, just no. Get off the front of my porch and no. <laughs> I don't know why I said front of my porch. I don't even have a porch, but <laughs> um, it's been a good day and I haven't had a breakup in a while. Um, me and Chris broke up like seven, eight months ago. And it was so smooth. Because <laughs> it just didn't, I don't know. Because we weren't that compatible, right? In that way. Not in the romantic way, if you get what I mean. Because like, he's not romantic in the slightest and I am. So we just, we were like, you know, we'll just be friends. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no grieving in that department anyway, for either of us. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. It's all good. But we've like, you know, when you get serious with someone and then you've spent all this time thinking, oh, they're the one and I'm going to stay with them forever. And it just does not end up forever in the slightest. <laughs> and you're going to wish you never said that. <laughs> because 
I'm just I'm just forewarning you. Um, I think as well, if you put too much belief into a relationship, it can ruin it. I think, like if you say all this crap, like I'm gonna be with you forever, it's always gonna be you. It's I think it's setting you up for failure. To be fair, and I think you should just chill and not get so you know in the feeling so much where you're like oh yeah this is the best thing I've ever had and all that stuff I think it ruins it I really do I think it adds pressure that shouldn't be there and I think it makes it I don't know it's hard to explain I mean yeah I get it and you're in that honeymoon phase and all you want to do is get married and you know <laughs> and then what's next because you you fell for the honeymoon phase and now you're out of the honeymoon phase now you're married and now you've got to get divorced because the honeymoon phase is over and your relationship's a bag of shit <laughs> But anyway, all I'm saying is how to, you know, deal with a breakup very well is grieve. Grieve as if they've died, okay? <laughs> just, just grieve and do it as much as you possibly can. Get the idea of being back with them out of your head completely. No belief in it, no chance, no nothing, okay? And then you will handle it better. No, you can't get over someone by getting under someone else. It doesn't work, okay? <laughs> it just doesn't. Because your feelings don't just go, ping, turned off. It doesn't work that way. You can, you can try, but mm -mm. no, because then you're just going to feel bad because the person you end up with afterwards you're gonna have feelings for the one before and then you're gonna feel bad about the one you're in because you're still in love with your ex. And then that's gonna add pressure and then you can try too hard and then you're gonna be like, oh my God. But yeah, just, just don't, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I think that's, enough for this video i can't really talk much more on a breakup but i know that it's something that people struggle with and i am going to give you some hope here it's fine the world has not stopped turning the world hasn't ended your life is still living you're still going you're not dead <laughs> and guess what there are people that are either just as good or better than your ex okay and you will be loved for exactly the way you are by your twin flame or whatever you want to call it your perfect person your perfect match you will be perfect to them and it doesn't matter if it doesn't work with someone it just doesn't because one you've got you okay and you are amazing and two, you have a perfect person, just like everyone else. You've just got to, you know, wait until it happens, but don't wait for it. Do you get what I mean? Wait for the right person, but do not wait for them. Okay? Don't settle for less just because it's familiar or because you've got history or because you've got feelings. I mean, yeah, feelings are strong I get that and it is hard to pull away from them but sometimes you have to sometimes the person ain't good for you sometimes the person's just gonna poop okay and that's when you know to go no okay you can go and find someone just like you that does the same things okay and that's it thanks for watching Stay tuned and to Lumofos.